It is time for a new project, this time we're going to be making a new 36 inch tall sink cabinet, to replace a 30 inch cabinet, if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned, and let's do it. Start by ripping off a plywood sheet, at 17 and a half by 36 inches, which is the width and height of the sides, using a straight edge as a guide for the scale saw. Using a speed square, mark 4 inch by 3 on the two cabinet boards at the bottom, to create a notch for the kickboard. Continue by cutting this pieces using my Ryobi jigsaw. After cutting the front piece, I glued two pieces as a support to connect both sides of the cabinet. You can also use pocket holes. I am using another piece of plywood as a spacer, which is the same thickness. Apply glue and install one of the sides to the front piece. Install two screws for support. Follow the same steps, and install the other side. Continue by cutting the kickboard for the bottom notch that we previously made. Apply glue and install the board with screws on both sides. Cut the new board for the inside of the cabinet. This will be the bottom shelf, and it will be glued at the front piece of the kickboard and back. I mark the size of the doors, and using my scale saw crosscut sled, I cut the doors to the proper length. I marked 4 inches down and 1 8 from the edge of the door, and using a 1 inch and 3 8 Forstner bit, drilled the hole for the hinges. Repeat the same steps on both doors, and install the hinge screws. Laid the cabinet to the side to get better access, and install the doors. Here we have a look of the doors already installed. I did remove the doors once again, just to pass the router on the edges, and give it a better look. Sand it down with 220 grit sandpaper, then a second pass with 320 grit. I am going to apply 3 coats of paint, 
all around the cabinet, giving a 5-minute gap between coats. Once the paint is dry, install the new cabinet on its new home, install the sink, and connect all your hoses and drain pipes. Don't forget to check for any leaks. For the door handles I will be marking 4 inches down and 1 inch from the side, on both doors, but you can install different handles on different positions. Using a 316 drill bit, drill the holes and install the handles. And we have completed the bathroom sink cabinet, from build to complete installation. If you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.